All right, welcome back to One Beer Job. I'm Justin. Uh, today's a special Father's Day edition. And uh, what we're gonna do today is uh, we're gonna build a home gym, or basically the platforms, uh, which you need to start uh, you know, from the ground up. Um, for the beer, trying a New Belgium Voodoo Ranger IPA. Now, I'm native of Colorado, so this is New Belgium, so it's from Fort Collins, and they actually have a uh, New Belgium up in up in Asheville, North Carolina, so get the best of both worlds. You get the Colorado and the North Carolina connection as we're down here in South Carolina, so uh, let's, take a, let's take a swig. I'm not an IPA kind of guy, but this is not as bitter as, well, what I think is bitter uh, to those other beers, but um, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do this for about under under about 175 bucks, uh, include the floor, the rubber mat, whatever it looks like. Uh, I went to Lowe's this morning and, and got all this stuff. Um, but basically what I got is two four by eight sheets of, um, of plywood that are tongue and groove. So basically it's just subfloor. So it's, it's pretty thick. It can handle the damage of the weights, uh, especially if you bang them around, um, drop weights on the ground, so on and so forth. It'll dissipate a lot of that energy. And then the rubber floor is not great. I'm not gonna tell you that it's good. Uh, it's thin, but it's what they had at, it's what they had at Lowe's today. Uh, it was a four by six sheet. Um, and I ended up getting uh, three, three of those and then one uh, three by five, I believe. Uh, I'll end up cutting it and seaming it together and trying to create as least amount of seams as possible. Um, but that's what we're going to do to the floor. I end up getting a half rack, uh, not a full, not a full, you know, full rack with uh, squat, you know, safety attachments uh, underneath. But I got a half rack, so we could definitely, you know, do some lighter squats. Um, I'm going to be throwing 405 on there and seeing if I can miss it or not. Um, but it, it's going to be good enough to bench bench press on. It's going to be good enough to do your overhead presses, and it's definitely going to be good enough to to do some lighter squats, especially high rep. Uh, where you don't need to have a spotter. Um, so it is a home gym. And then after I get that up, um, maybe I'll do a few little woodworking kit or woodworking things to, um, to sort of hide your weights or even put your weights up. Um, but this, is, this will be a good subfloor, it'll be a great floor. Um, the, the sheets of plywood, I think were 30 bucks. They're a good tongue and groove. Uh, they're almost an inch inch thick, and then the rubber mats were were thirty bucks a piece. Uh, I'll, I'll end up trimming those up a little bit, um, and then I'm going to staple them into the into the subfloor, so that way they won't move when you're doing mountain climbers or or anything else on the ground where your feet need to be stable or hands need to be stable. So um, that's what we're doing today. Hang on. All right, this is the space that we have. So we ended up taking the office out of this space and ended up moving the office into the old dining room where the piano room is now. So we could have this space in here because garage, South Carolina and the heat in the summer, um, it's like 120 degrees in there. So this is about 10 by 10. So this will be a good space for it. Um, it's right at the front of the house. So if I am lifting, I mean, it's gonna be kind of loud anyway because I, turn up the music to 11. All right, so this is what I'm gonna show you. Um, tongue and groove, I've already sort of trimmed up a little bit. And uh, the flooring is black, so what I went ahead and did is spray painted the edges that will be out, you know, uh, black. Spray painted those, just to make sure that it doesn't, you know, that there is gonna be a black look to it so from there now I'm gonna go ahead and just bring these in the house and then set them in and then start uh, putting down the floor All right, so just put the subfloor in uh, you can see I just put it right over the carpet you know there's already a pad underneath it um, so we're gonna be good um, when you do this you want to lift this angle up and then push it into the tongue uh, over there make sure that all your dots are lined up uh, and then you sort of like wiggle it into place so there's really not much of a gap 
there is a little bit of a lip inside of the lip that stops it right there just so there is a little bit of a gap for expansion um, and so now we're ready to lay the, the rubber floor on top of it all right so did the covering put some liquid nails construction adhesive underneath um, and then tacked them in um, with some finished nails the staples that I had weren't long enough so I went with finished nails um, so now I'm just holding down the seams with some weight it's not much weight but it's a little bit of weight and then uh, after that dries I'll go ahead and I'll put the rack up itself it'll be centered on that wall um, and I'll have to use two ledger boards one at the bottom one at the top uh, that way I don't have to try to find a stud um, and I'll show you how to do that here in a second hold on all right, so got the floor down, um, and then I put these two ledger boards in. So these are these are two by eights. I painted them the same color or similar color, um, and then I went ahead and just found the studs, just with the stud finder, popped in two you know six ledger bolts um, right there at the bottom, and then also up there at the top. I've already put a flag up, but um, and that's those two ledger boards that the screws go into and that way I can center it on the wall. Um, it's not going to be that bad, but I had these two by eights left over from, um, from the, from the, uh, patio cover. And then it's just, again, it's just a half rack, something, uh, fairly cheap. It's got a pull a bar. And then I took those and put a few washers in them. And then drilled those um, right into the, the ledger board. I made the ledger board, you know, 50 inches. Um, and this is 48 inches wide. So there's that. So um, there from the floor. Again, I use liquid liquid nails. and So now I can get that bench, put it up in there. Got that pull-up bar so I can do some lat pull-downs. Get some pull-ups, chin-ups, all the good stuff. Hold on. All right, well, we're done with our one beard job. We got our squat rack up. We have the platforms down. Um, so if you like the video, please hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel. You can see all the different things that we'll do uh, during this time, well, during any time. And um, just odds and ends types of things that we're doing. Putting in a home gym. Um, looks like we're going to need it for a while. So anyway, cheers. One beer job. I'm Justin signing off again, share it, like it, comment on it. Um, check out the other videos, but until next time, have a glorious day from the pirates. Let's go.